Look at that. The rock looks surprisingly clean. The base of it is just right down there and it comes all the way up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, is he going to lead it, yeah? He is going to lead it, yeah. <laughs> really? I have a genetic condition that affects my eyes. I take it this is a proper, like, That's no just... cheating blind no cheat. I'm not really using my eyes, to be honest. You just walked it. Ridiculous. I'd love to head up to Scotland and climb the old man of Hoy. And then when I found he was doing trad outdoors, I, I don't know, mind blown, just, like, are you kidding? <laughs> like, what? Like, you hear quite a lot of publicity about people doing the old man of Hoy, whatever, old people, young people. They're always second in. Yeah, a bit higher, a bit higher. What is absolutely critical in climbing and what climbing's really all about is leading. It's the person who goes up first. Pretty excited because this will be the first time a blind man's ever like led the old man of Hoy. That is a completely different ball game. Instead of being totally safe, it's incredibly dangerous. Where is the boulder? Uh, <laughs> Molly! So the critical thing is that I have a sight guide. And get your right foot in the crack, main crack. Yeah. So Molly is kind enough to lend me her eyes. We kind of hit it off. I'd never met anyone blind before. Like, if you can share your eyes, then he's, well, I guess, more than capable of doing anything. There are places where you can't fall. Your sight guide can't see you. You're very much climbing completely blind. He could have been going anywhere. I'm totally on my own at that point. Uh, this is when I can really do with being able to see. It sounds pretty sketchy, to be honest. You're both from Gary, mate. Yeah. Yeah. 